everybody. Thanks for tuning into Border City Rock Talk. We get great news, great interviews, great interviewees, sometimes a comedic touch. Before I get uh, my guest on today, I want you to hit that subscribe button, please, and hit the notification bell. That doesn't cost you anything. It just helps me get these great interviews and also notifies you when I do have these interviews uploaded. So without further ado, I've got Thomas Seppala from the band Ambirian Dawn in Finland, from Finland. How are you doing, Thomas? Hey, Ernest. Doing fine. Thank you. How are you? I'm not too I'm not too bad. I didn't uh, want to let the cat out of the bag before uh we went on air. I could have told you earlier, but um you see what's behind me behind my window? Uh some kind of lake or river or something. Maybe. It, does it not look familiar, Finland? Mm, not really. Okay. Well, that's uh this is my hotel room and that's I'm looking into the bay. I'm in Helsinki. Okay. I'm not. I'm just making that up. But anyways, <laughs> uh, I told you there's going to be some comedy in here. So anyways, um, we've got uh, Thomas here to talk about uh, the new album coming up. Uh, December 2nd is going to be released on Napalm Records um, called Take a Chance, which is a tribute to uh, one of the best all-around bands in the world, ABBA. Um, obviously, everybody knows Ambiri and Don uh, was, I guess you formed it and formed them in 2006 with w River of Twani. And um, so your last EP was in 2020. What made you decide to go with the um, cover or tribute to uh, to ABBA? Well, we already have recorded one ABBA song on our Looking For You album. It was yeah. the Lay All You Love On Me. Right. We already played that song live on stage when we were touring with Lacuna Coil in Europe. So we got really good response for the, from the audience there. And we also, we in the band also liked the song very much. So after getting this good feedback, it was much easier to make the decision to record a full cover album. There were a lot of fans asking for it. You know, mm -hmm. we got tons and tons of emails and messages that why don't you make a whole a whole cover album and we started to think about it why not because it's good music and we all enjoy it so we just decided to do it That's it's great. fun yeah um i'm in canada um and um growing up i was into the hard rock stuff i was into the deal as i see that you're a fan of uh, ronnie you were you're a fan of the late ronnie james deal and and angve as well and Richie Blackmore and that sort of thing. So that's what I kind of grew up listening to. That was my genre. But I also have a soft side to me. And ABBA was one of the most influential bands in that era. I remember hearing SOS and it almost brought me to tears. It's so powerful. So um, growing up in Scandinavia, which um, for Canadians and my American viewers, um, Scandinavia consists of about three smaller countries. I believe there's Denmark, Sweden, Finland, Norway. So um, have you had a chance um to see abba live uh she recently they did a few shows and then previously before they kind of semi-retired have you seen abba live no i haven't seen abba live but i have in fact i have met betty anderson wow once it was it was by accident and it was a couple of years ago maybe three or four years ago i was visiting stockholm in sweden Mm -hmm. And Benny Anderson has his own studio there. Right. And I wanted to visit the studio and also play some keyboards part there. Wow. Yeah. I, was, I was allowed to go there. And it was a pure accident. I, I met Benny on my way there. Wow. So I had maybe one minute time to chat with him and we took some selfies together and that kind of that is amazing. So basically what you're saying is he's got a studio there where you can go and, I don't know, maybe uh, have a tour, uh, that sort of thing. But he happened to be there on that day that you didn't expect. Is that correct? Yeah. And it's also even more weird because I went there first by ferry. There's a little sea between Finland and Sweden. Mm -hmm. I first, first leg was by ferry. Then I took my car and drove by car to his studio where I had a navigator in my car mm. and I got lost. I knew I'm, I'm really close. I, I, I knew I'm really close, but I, I wasn't sure where exactly the studio is, is. So 
I got out of my car and I started to look around. Is there any people I could ask for instructions? Mm -hmm. Then a little car drove there and a person came out of that car. It was Benny Anderson. <laughs> it was the first person I saw there in Sweden. I got lost and I, I, I didn't realize at, at, at right away yeah. that he's Benny Anderson. He looked familiar. Yeah. I just went there, excuse me, sir. Can you tell me some directions? I'm lost. Then he started to talk with it, sir. Then I recognized it, it really is Benny. And I was so overwhelmed of the situation. I was almost speechless. Then I just asked, can we take a picture together? And in fact, I'm going to your, your studio. Can you tell me where it is? It was really strange. Wow. Um, I don't really believe too much in coincidences. I believe in kind of synchronicities and that, that is, that is a great story. That's amazing. So um, suffice it to say, ABBA was very influential, not just uh, in Finland and um, in ABBA, but or excuse me, in, in Sweden and um, the, the Scandinavian countries, but around the world. Um, what would your favorite um, ABBA song be if uh, you had to nail just one? I know you might get asked this, but if you had to pick one, which one would be the most influential to you? In fact, that's quite easy to answer because I like their musical kind of songs the most. So maybe I let this music, I let the music speak is one of my favorites. It's kind right. of musical. Right, right. So um, I've got some, uh, I mean, just off the cuff kind of questions. I don't really rehearse too much. We did talk for a few minutes before, but I don't really rehearse. I just go with the flow. And so, is there a chance that when you guys are doing some shows to support this album, um, is there possibilities that maybe you would have a contact now that you have, you know, Benny, um, for maybe them to surprise the fans and come on stage and sing one song here and there? Is that a possibility? Uh, do you mean, do we, do we have a chance to come there and play some shows? No, no. Um, what I'm saying is, with the uh, the album, you're going to be probably promoting it with some tour shows in Finland yeah. and whatnot. Is there a chance that maybe somebody from ABBA might jump on stage no, by no. surprise? Of course not. No? Okay. No, of course it's, it's not possible. I think they are so big stars. Also, I think so many fans has, have made cover versions of their songs, so yeah. this is nothing new to them, you know. Mm -hmm. I think I've heard maybe hundreds of different versions of their song so it's it's nothing new to their him i think yeah no i i agree they are basically very very though they're big stars but you're a big star too i mean you you supported uh you know epica i think epica was just recently on tour with uh sabaton but anyways i mean you guys are big too so uh don't sell yourself short obviously um is there any chance of a north american tour to support this Everything is possible, of course, but we all know the realities mm. uh, with, you know, music business in general. There's a lot of costs, you know, flying mm. to states and all the renting the buses and crew, etc. So it's very expensive. Yeah. So it's hard to get done, but it's possible. It it might, we might... Mm, in fact, we have been in States once before. We were in, you know, the 70,000 tons of metal cruise. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been there once. So, in fact, we've been in States once before, but, but touring is totally different. It's possible, it's, but it's hard to get to happen. Right, right. Um, well, I would love to see you in the States. Um, like I said, I'm in Canada, but I'm as close as it gets. I'm right on the border with our American uh, uh, neighbors. Um well, I was going to ask you something regarding your influences. Obviously, it was Richie Blackmore, um, I've read, and Ingve Malmsteen, but you have a deeper influence. Uh, I'm just guessing here. It, it, classical music? Were you trained in classical at all? or? Yeah. I've studied to play piano at age of four, and I played classical piano. And that, that was my first experience with music, in general, playing classical music. And when I got a little older, my early teenage years, I started to listen to metal music. Like you said, Ring Sense Dio, Halloween, Malmsteen, that kind of bands, of course, like all my friends did. 
the right. all, all, all my friends also liked to listen to metal music. And I, I think I was a young adult when I eventually found ABBA. I think I was 18 years old or something. Mm -hmm. I found one ABBA album from my father's LP collection. Yeah. I think it was Arrival album. Right. And they were the they were the big uh, LPs. I remember those days. Now they're on a stick this big, right? Yeah, that's true. Um, so you were speaking about different bands that do, have done covers. Um, there's a genre of music you're probably familiar with called ska, which is um, you know uh, skateboarders kind of listen to that. Uh, there's a band in the states uh, in, in California, uh, SoCal actually, um, called the Mad Caddies. And they do a wicked uh, version of SOS. Have you heard that one? I don't think I have. Okay, well, I, I think I'm going to lay underneath the intro to this video just a little snippet. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I probably won't do that. I'll probably just have a link below in the description bar of the video, a link to your um, website, a link to your um, social media sites, as well as I'll put a link to the Mad Caddies there. So December 2nd, uh 2022 on napalm records the album's going to be released uh before i let you go um i've done a lot of reading and it looks like there's a lot of anticipation for this album um what it, what is the um the temperature right now in scandinavia people must be just gung-ho and getting ready for this album i think it's about five to ten degrees of celsius i don't know <laughs> what's in Fahrenheit? we have the different scale yeah i just mean what's the overall temperature in, mentally on this album uh, being released yeah we are really, or we are in the band we are really anxious to get the album out we know a lot of people are going to like it oh, so yeah. we are already excited about it how many songs are on it i know but the viewers don't know yet how many songs are on this album there's going to be 10 songs and one bonus song. Oh, there's a bonus song. Um, yeah, I didn't it's know that. Actually, All Your Love On Me, it's released before. But it's going to be on the first edition on the CD and LP as a bonus song now. Are you guys um, going to be doing a tour just for this specific album? Or your next tour um, in Europe and in, in the area is going to just incorporate some songs from this album? I think we are just going to include a couple of new ABBA songs on our set list. Nice. I think it's the most wise thing to do because we are still a metal band and we are not a cover band. We, nice. And so that's why we want to do only a couple of ABBA songs on our set list. That that makes so much sense. I, I want to thank you, Thomas, for uh, for taking the time out today. I think, what is it, 5 o'clock there, p.m. on Tuesday? It's about 7 p.m. Yeah. 7 p.m. So it must be pretty dark right now. Yeah, it's really black. Yeah. Sun is down. Yeah, for sure. Um, so yeah, so I've just got one more question for you. Um, what is the opposite of unsubscribe? Uh it's, it's a trick question. You got the word subscribe and then the word unsubscribe. Yeah. What's the opposite of unsubscribe? subscribe that's know. what it is my friend please everybody subscribe to this channel border city rock talk where you get great news interviews great interviewees such as i've had today sometimes a comedic touch and once again i'd love to thank you so much and i'm looking forward to um digging that new album on the 2nd of december okay thank you it was nice talking with you i appreciate it my friend thank you bye-bye okay bye-bye